Hey, what's up everybody? It's James from Honor. Today we got a brand new look at some teaser video footage of the Magic 3 series with another exclusive little trailer. So I'm going to take that apart and see if we can find some secrets buried within. So let's go through what we already know. Because like you, I only have access to certain parts of the story. So I'm looking forward to seeing more bits of information revealed very, very soon. Last week, we did have the reveal of what it looks like from a distance, and we were unable to see the back of the devices. But we've had these small little trailers, which have given us little hints as to what the rear is gonna look like, aside from the color scheme that we found out last week. We do know that the brand new Snapdragon 888 Plus chip is involved in this phone, and we know that it's 5G. All three of the teaser trailers have focused upon this what seems to be giant lens or camera array on the back of the device, but we've yet to get a clear shot of it. Let's watch this latest teaser trailer and then we'll go back over it. So this trailer starts with when video is cinema ready. This is important, I think, because the last trailer was focused on when performance leaps further, which definitely alludes to the Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset. It's no coincidence that that trailer also launched the same week as the CEO Tech Talk, including the CEO and president of Qualcomm and Honor discussing their work together in the new handset. But when video is cinema ready really gets me excited because it's obviously relating to the fact that the lens is going to be something special and that you're going to be able to get some really good quality cinematic content off the size of this new lens on the back, which probably means the CMOS sensor is also going to be huge. And of course, we've seen this before in the Honor 20 and Honor 20 Pro. Frankly, if this means that the video quality is going to be amazing, sign me up. Of course, this is backed up by the fact that the brand new 888 Plus chipset is going to enable people to be able to make more impressive content. Now, this sets up the tone for the remainder of the video. And whilst both previous teaser trailers were also of a high production quality level, this one definitively is going after a specific look and style to make you feel like it's gonna give you that movie aesthetic. Now, I can't go any further without mentioning the big score attached to this, which is 100% designed to give you that movie-esque feeling. It's the same music that's been used in the previous two trailers, but in this one, it really is enhanced by that piano note that triggers the next part of the scene. And wow, that is a cool looking shot. It absolutely radiates that whole notion of cinema and movies and film, taking it back to that initial statement. Doesn't this just remind you of what a projector looks like in a cinema when you're sat in the chair and you look behind at the projector room and you can see the smoke and the dust particles in the background, hazing in front of the lens, and it just screams cinema to me. So that kind of backs up the notion that this is gonna be a bit of a powerhouse when it comes to recording video. I mean, if I really wanted to dig deep in this, I could say that the black and white stylings of this video are definitely homage back to the early days of cinema. My allegorical reading of this is that it's meant to stir this notion of the birth of cinema in you. Back when it was an exciting new form of technology, that's what this is referencing. Either way, it's a striking image. Combined with the subtle score building and then this image on top, I think it's a powerful combination. Whilst it's true we still don't have the final spec of what lens is in there or what combination of lenses, it definitely leads to more questions that I don't have answers for. But for someone like myself, who was a bit of a big movie fan, it really spoke to me 
in a multitude of different ways. Lastly, I guess we could look at the light itself. There's definitely two levels to this. One, that perhaps the light isn't actually there. That's purely just for the purposes of creating that effect on the video. Or two, it really does have some kind of light array coming off it, which makes perfect sense because good lighting is the trick to good video. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. Is this the last teaser or have we got some more to come? Thanks for watching. We are nearly only two weeks away from the launch event of the Magic 3 series and I can't wait to find out what else is going to be unveiled. Take care of yourselves. Check back soon. Bye.